Hey guys, Mike here with Century Security Systems Incorporated. And in this week for our GeoVision how-to series, I'd like to continue on with the VMS platform and take a look at our options for the display panels. I'm just going to open up our software. So this is what will greet you when you first install GeoVision VMS and you've added your cameras. If you're used to the NVR platform, you might be a little bit confused on where all the cameras are. You actually have to configure it yourself, um, which is actually a big advantage. It's a lot easier to move cameras around and that sort of thing and create different groups. So let's take a look. So the first thing we're going to do is go up to our toolbar. And the, the option on the right is content list. We'll click on that. And this is going to bring up our options over here. So we've got layout, cameras. Okay, so you can see here I've only got one camera in uh, on this system as it's just our demo system that we use for creating these videos. However, I can add that camera multiple times so that won't affect us. So what I'm going to do to get started here is I'm going to create a new layout. Okay, and I can also create groups of layouts. So first we'll do the group, and I'm going to call the, the group test. And then I'm going to create a layout, and we'll call it sample. Okay, so I can choose, choose these predetermined options, or I can go to customize, or I can even put it in manually. I'm going to go to customize. Okay, so we get this window come up. And you'll see we have a couple of options up here, Merge and Reset. So I can draw how I would like this to look. Okay. And then hit Merge. So that's going to make all of those windows into one camera. Okay, so I can do the same thing here. And we'll do one down here as well. So I'm going to say OK. So it's going to give you the option to assign the cameras to this layout automatically. I recommend that you say yes. You don't want to be dragging and dropping 32 different cameras, but if you do, you can say no and do it manually. I'm going to show you how to do it manually because doing it automatically is pretty straightforward. So I'm just going to say no. And this is our new layout window. So under camera, you'd, if you had you know 50 some cameras, obviously they would all be listed here and you just simply drag and drop the camera into the position that you want it to be in. Okay. Now, one cool feature with the VMS software is that it'll allow you to add a camera several times. And where that really comes in handy is with the fisheye cameras. With the fisheye cameras, you could add one camera several times and have each of those cameras in different modes. So one could be in the dual 180 mode, one could be in the 360 mode. Etc. You know, you could have one zoomed in on a, on a door, one on a window, and so on. So just to show you an example of that, I'm going to put this camera into these other squares here. Okay. That's basically all there is to it. I now have that created. So I'm just going to show you here how you can sort of expand on that. I'm going to go back up to my toolbar and our content list, and I'm now going to make another option. So I'm going to add a new layout, um, and I'm just going to do a single view this time. So one by one, do you want to assign the cameras automatically? I'm just going to say yes, because I've only got one camera. Okay, so I've now got that view added, and I can drag and drop that into my test folder as well so that I can have those into to groups. So for example, if this was going into, say, a retirement home, you could have groups, you could have a group of all the different floors, and then within the floor, you'd have floor one, floor two, and so on, and you'd have all of your cameras added into that list. And then you can just simply click on the view that you want to see. Can't get much easier than that. Hope you guys enjoyed this week's how-to video. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact us. Thank you.